So far they call me Mishek, but now I'm called by the name of my son, isn't it? How about Kuma? I try to be as human as possible. I try to be as human as possible. I try to be as human as possible. So I'm like being the practical part of life right now, I think. What's my take on his work? He's, he's an amazing artist, I think. He's, um, he's in his own kind of world. Uh, actually, what I do is not limited to space. You know, you see the characteristics of the, you know, like the environment. Why do I make work? It makes me feel relevant. What I can give and what I can receive. And, and when I do a painting, it's just that those, trying to answer those questions, you know, as a person, who am I, you know, in relation to the other. I'm Gina. Um, I'm uh, Mishix. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's the first time I've said I'm Mishix wife. <laughs> I'm the mother of our child. Hmm. And others to come. <laughs> How many? Uh, Two more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he talks like it's so easy. When it happened, he wasn't there. The work that I produce is a. Uh... No, very warm. Uh, it's a bit cold or cold, but it has to be that because I wish for a warm side of it. I hope I have something to say. I'm Virginia Georgia, the name I was given. I think I represent uh, a certain group of people in society. The what can I say? That have to comment on certain things that happen in lives. I could be African, one could be European, yet we share a common something. We share a common language. We communicate through that. So there is that place there for me in art than anywhere else. It's very important what I do. It's a need. It's it's something that I need. It's how can I say? It could be the right thing, I think. It is the right thing. It it's it's what can I say? What can I say? It's, I feel more happy within myself with what I do than when I try to do other things. I was very, very, always very confused with the career that I was to get into after high school. So it so happened, yeah, I had interest in art, but I didn't know that I would do it. I never knew that I would be an artist one day. So when I finished high school, I had to go for nursing, for training to be a nurse. By coincidence, I came across an artist and I showed him the recent drawings of my work and he told me of an institute, the BAT workshop then, now the visual art studios. And I took my papers, I went for an interview and then I got in. And ever since, it felt like home. The time that I want to do work that has nothing to do with putting a price onto it. But I want people to recognize what I'm saying. People try to understand that which I want to state. Babe, it's not. Why 
why should I make happy work when I don't have that? What? Happiness. I can't speak of what's not there. No matter what, you don't give up. You survive. Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe life, you survive. No matter what, you survive. What will make me happy? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Do you really want to tell us? No. <laughs>
of maybe maybe diversity of moral fiber or something, but some kind of diversity of identity now in a no more contemporary Africa. Now it is when you give birth to a baby. I've never given birth, but you have to you have to connect with that child and to know the child. You know, further. I'm the son of the soil. I'm the son of the soil. I'm the son of the soil. I'm sharing part of my experience, whatever has happened to me, the compacted volume of twenty-six years of pain of joy and sorrow, of failure of success. My art is free. The interpretation is entirely belongs to the viewer, but with the recognition of the intention of the maker. Why do you breathe? Why do you eat? Why do you sleep? I do what I do because it is a necessity. And who unto me if I don't do what I do? My working body is a, <clears throat> a volume of my ancestral past, my spiritual past, and also the prophetic aspect of my life and the life of what happens around me. We are a complex people that are in an era of defining themselves. Not necessarily from anyone else, but also from ourselves, to regain that from ourselves. There has to be a collective voice that has to speak about my identity.